The other day I learned that running doesn't always go to plan. I went on the hardest 10k run I've ever done in my life, not only physically but also mentally. It was kind of one of those runs where everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And from the start, it was just always going to be a bad run. It was a run full of drama. It was a run full of stopping and starting. My watch kind of messed up. It didn't pick up my location. And at one point I forgot to unpause it. And it was just a messy run. Like it was quite terrible, really. The first 2K of the run was over 500 feet incline, which meant that the rest of the run was horrendous. Like, even though it was downhill for the rest of it, my head had already gone at that point. So it was just, I don't know, I just hated it. I was really, really hated it. I didn't enjoy the run at all. I think one of the worst things that can happen as a runner is when your head goes into that dark place and you just can't get out of it. And that is what happened to me the other day. And even though I managed to finish the run, it definitely didn't make me feel good. There was times in the run where I had like a massive lump in my throat and because of that I couldn't really breathe properly and it was just full of drama. I was just not in a good place whatsoever. And I think it's really important to kind of show those side of running as well because I see so many runners on YouTube and all that kind of stuff and it only shows like the highs and so they don't really show the lows of running and everything that you go through as a runner. I filmed all the dramas, I filmed I mean, you can see the pain in my face throughout the whole entire thing. I just didn't enjoy it.
that was probably my least favourite run I think I've ever done in my life and I just want to cry. I just didn't enjoy it at all. My head, I don't think I've ever had a run before where my head's just, my head just completely gave up. That's me, it's the first bit, the first hair like, it ruined the entire run. But what, what is the point? What is the point in doing that to yourself? I'm just ruining the rest of your run. I have one long run a week and it was just awful. And usually I can really push myself on. So my biggest advice for anyone that goes through that dark place during a run is to just keep telling yourself to keep going. Keep going, it will end. You will feel amazing afterwards. Focus on the process, just focus on putting one foot in front of the other and just getting the whole thing done. I remember you never regret a run. Like even if it's terrible and you're close to tears and you're like shouting at like your running partner, you know that as soon as you get home and then you look back at what you've done, you're gonna feel amazing. And that took a while, like usually I get home and I feel great, but it took like a few hours to get out of that kind of like negative headspace. But in the end, like I felt proud of myself. I did something that I've never done before. It was the toughest run like I've ever done in my life and nothing can really beat that feeling. I'm probably going to do it again and challenge myself again because I'm filming this the day after I've been on my recovery run and I feel quite good. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Yeah.